under the strength and disaster management capacity of women in the Cooperative Republic of Guyana and the Commonwealth of Dominica project, UNDP is supporting rural women farmers to enhance their livelihoods through microgrants. Members of the Belvi Chope Farmers Group share their experiences with transitioning to agro-processing and floriculture flower farming. Yes, I am Mary Nistit and I am part of the Belvi Chope Farmers Group Incorporated. We looked at resilience, climate smart agriculture, improving our um, livelihoods. So we are farmers, we grow lettuce, cabbage and so on all the time. But for this project, we looked at culinary herb and we also looked at the growing of anthuriums. We considered um, agro-processing because many times we see we have excessive fruits, it just goes to waste. So we looked at agro-processing, we did quite a few number of sessions, so we learned some techniques on food safety and then eventually we did some practicals where we made our own tea bags and we made our own seasonings using our culinary herbs from our garden. I love getting in touch with the farmers and telling them what is happening in our group with the farmers group. We could purchase seeds and the shade house that we needed because sometimes there is too much rain or too much sun. And what one of the aspects of our funding comes is of agro-processing and right now I have one of our final products. These are tea bags. We planted culinary, culinary herbs. Well, actually that's medicinal herbs. We had both culinary and medicinal. So these are the many, one of the medicinal herbs that's bay leaf and anise in our local terms. We call them warden and nani. Thankful for what we have benefited. We didn't just benefit in knowledge, we benefited in skills. We also benefited in material when we had the plants and we have our own um, water tanks so we can, during the dry season, we have access to stored water. So we just want to say thank you so much.